Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. A little bit of a sad story here today in 2 Chronicles chapter 24. And by the way, I didn't say this in the last video, so I want to say it in this video. I apologize for not uploading anything on Thursday or what should have been for Thursday's schedule because I simply did not take a hold of my responsibility. So that was my fault and my mistake. I'm releasing four videos today as an apology and just asking you guys to forgive me for that. So having said that, 2 Chronicles chapter 24 and verse 17. Now after the death of Jehoiada, the leaders of Judah came and bowed down to the king, and the king listened to them. Therefore they left the house of the Lord God of their fathers and served wooden images and idols, and wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem because of their trespass. Yet he sent prophets to them to bring them back to the Lord, and they testified against them, but they would not listen. Just a, an incredibly, an incredibly horrible thing. It's like, I would think even practically speaking, if uh, King Joash, right? Yeah, if King Joash was not a godly man, the, Jehoiada still gave him the kingdom. Why would he, yet yeah, Jehoiada died. But but he still went and tur completely turned on the faith of his entire childhood, a faith that had served him well his entire life. Did It makes me wonder, did he genuinely in his heart believe that Jehoiada was wrong? That the, other, that the idols of the nations were gods? And therefore he turned against he turned against the Lord God, I, and the Bible does not talk about that. You know, what motivations or reasons he had for doing that. It just says, yeah, he turned away, he, he, li he listened to the leaders of Judah and turned away, and turned away from God. It's, a, it's one of those, wait, what? What just happened here moments? It's one of those things where it's just like, what's going on here? And it goes a step further. Which in this show, I don't, again, I don't know what exactly happened here or why he did this. But in verse 20, then the Spirit of God came upon Zechariah, the son of Jehoiada, the priest, who stood above the people and said to them, Thus says God, why do you transgress the commandments of the Lord so that you cannot prosper? Because you have forsaken the Lord, he also has forsaken you. So they conspired against him. And at the command of the king, they stoned him with stones in the court of the house of the Lord. Thus Joash the king did not remember the kindness which Jehoiada his father had done to him, but killed his son. And as he died, he said, The Lord look on it and repay. It, it's mind-blowing to me. It, it's, did he forget what Athalia tried to do to him and did to all of his brothers? It's not exactly the same, because he wasn't killing his heir but he killed the heir of the man who made him king. I don't understand. Did he just really think that the ways of Yahweh were incorrect? Was he faking it for the entire lifetime of Jehoiada the priest so as to keep his throne? He faked it the entire time to keep his throne until the man died, and then when the man died, like, okay, now I can serve the gods that I think are actually true. What in this, since the Bible doesn't commentate on it, I obviously this is wrong. You don't you don't you don't stop following God. That's uh, you want to talk about morally right and wrong. The obvious moral of the story is you don't turn away from God. There's no question about what the moral that the Bible's trying to get across is. That's pretty clear cut and simple. And he simply became an incredible villain for turning away from God first and foremost, and secondarily killing the son of killing the son of a priest and killing this uh, one of the prophets and killing the son of the man who made him king i'm going to make an assumption and i'm going to play this out in my mind so the moral of the story is obvious but here's what i think happened i think when Jehoiada died the elders of judah they're the ones who didn't want to serve god because Joash seemed to demonstrate a passion for wanting to rebuild the temple of God. He, and he's the one who got on Jehoiada and said, why have, you guys, why have you not kept the Levites in check and brought the money in? That's going to be back in verse. He was trying to repair the house of God, and it was his idea to do so, not Jehoiada's. And so he got on Jehoiada saying, make the Levites bring in the money. That's in verse 6 of this chapter. 
So I don't think he was faking it. I think the leaders of Judah, or at least some of them, said, we want to worship our own gods. Jehoiada died, so the pressure wasn't there politically to say, hey, we've got to do this. We've got to follow Yahweh. So they went to the king, like, maybe he'll give us some leeway, and he gave them some leeway. And then after giving them leeway, after giving way to gods other than Yahweh, sin crept into his heart. He started caring less and less about Yahweh and the ways of Yahweh. So when someone came up and said, God's forsaken you, he went with what the lead, he, it says they conspired against him, so it wasn't just the king. Again, the leaders, the leaders of Judah, I think they're the ones, not only did they turn his heart away from Yahweh so they could worship their gods, they didn't want to be rebuked, so they got the king to issue forth the command to kill Zechariah. And of course, the king, he agreed with them on both counts. The king was absolutely guilty, but I think that it was the influence of other men who brought him down and brought him away. So we need to remember where we came from and who did what for us. I mean, that's just kind of proper respect, right? Biblically or not, that's just proper respect. But also, we need to follow the way of the Lord. We need to follow the way of what's right. Respect will come automatically when we follow God. God is a God of honor and respect. Those things come naturally to him, and they should come naturally to those who follow him. If not, God has a way of judging his house, and he can teach his children honor and respect. So remember where you came from. Remember who put you where you are. Some respect is certainly owed there. And if, if those people, you know, do something wrong, he rebuked them. And just like Jehoiada, he was like, why haven't you gotten the priests to bring in the offering? Bring in the offering. You can absolutely call them out when they're in the wrong. But you still remember them and have a certain level of respect for them. And also, you don't give in to peer pressure. You don't just go with the flow and go with the crowd. You go with what's right. And I don't think, Ze I don't think Joash... Zechariah went with what was right. Joash, he went with the crowd. I don't think he went with what was in his heart. I think he just did what the others asked him to do. Maybe he just wanted to be popular. Maybe he didn't actually care. I don't know. But whatever the reason was, he stopped following the God of the universe. And that was absolutely wrong. So, once again, remember where you came from. Give respect where respect's due. And don't just follow the crowd. Do what is right. Do what's in the Word of God, even if it's not the most popular thing. Even if others want to go another way, you go the way that's right. You go the way that the Lord wants you to go. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.